Hi everybody, CyberRiff here. I just wanted to speak on the George Floyd murder and also on the response from Donald Trump where Donald Trump has said that he would shoot looters and protesters of George Floyd death. And it's interesting that, and no surprise, that Donald Trump would take such a view or position of response. But it's funny that Donald Trump did not use the word shoot them when his supporters stood with AK-47s and Magnums and Glocks and guns on the doorsteps protesting COVID-19 reopening. And I'm sure a lot of people around the world have seen what has happened to George Floyd and his many other people on the list. I'm sure you've seen the videos on YouTube and Twitter and Facebook. And it's not just alarming, disgusting, blatant, cold murder of another innocent person that allegedly used a fake $20 bill. And as the shopkeeper said, he may not have known that it was a fake dollar bill. There's lots of fake currencies in the world and across the world. And if you happen to have one among your cash, who's to say that you know it's fake or real? But that's really kind of besides the point because justice is justice and every human being is entitled to justice, right? They're entitled to the law of courts to determine whether they're guilty or innocent. But to have your breath taken out of your body by the knee of a police officer who really was not a police officer. He's a murderer. Blatant, cold, killer, murderer. Because for someone to stand there, watch someone kneel on the neck of a human being. And for that person to kneel knowing what he's doing, knowing he's on his neck knowing and hearing him cry out, knowing and kneeling on his neck while he's crying out, I cannot breathe, I can't breathe, and hear him struggle for breath to the point where he becomes breathless and unconscious. That is murder, period. I don't want to do this video just to be another person who feels this injustice i want to do this video to show demonstrate enough is enough in fact if we take it all the way back to people who invade land countries who can lynch a human being on a tree or from a tree who can just go out capture someone because you think that person is black. When no one is black on planet Earth, people may come close to that, but the majority of people on planet Earth are not black. And anyone who thinks they're black, go get a sheet of black paper and match it 100%. And if you think you're white, go match a piece of paper that is white, because you cannot match it. In fact, you're actually pink, more than you think you're white. If you go to a paint store and you want to paint a wall with a Pacific color, if it be white or black, you've got to match it exactly. Otherwise, it's not going to match, is it? You cannot spray a vehicle or a, or a car that is white or black and get the color match wrong, but yet you Society can play around with black and white colors with people as if to say they've got it right when it's wrong. It does not match the people that you are labeling black, that you are labeling white. And this has to stop. And politicians and celebrities wake up. And I'm talking celebrities like T.I., Kanye West, who doesn't even know what color he is and P. Diddy, and the game. All these people who feel 
they have some kind of intelligence and knowledge. Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson, Obama. What color are you? What do you stand for? When are you going to stand up for what is right? What is justice? It's time for people to be sensible about what they are and who they are and what color you are. They need now to stop putting on application forms what ethnicity you are. That does not make any common sense. If you're born in a country, what does that make you? What does that make you if you're born in a country? If you're born in America, you're American. And America is not owned. That land is not owned by any person who is pink, white, brown, black, whatever you want to call it. It's owned by native and indigenous people. Just because you invade a country and take it over does not mean that you own it. Does not mean that you came from that country. Can Germany or any other country invade China? Then say, I'm Chinese? No. It's time for this foolishness of race and color code in labeling people black and white to stop, to end. For you to think someone because they are not your color is inferior to you is insanity, racism. In fact, you, you, you feel that they are a threat because you don't know them. And you feel they're a threat because you are the threat. You are the one that's insecure. Whether you've got a police outfit on or not, the stigma, the judgment is incorrect. The facts are incorrect because you've read the wrong books, because you've believed from a child that you have white privilege when you are not white, you are pink and you have no privilege whatsoever. Because the new universe will judge you. The new universe will judge your karma. The new universe will judge you of your acts. And when you write, even as an ev evangelical or a Catholic or whatever religion you think you are. And it says, thou shalt not kill. But yet you've killed. You've invaded You've robbed, you've stolen, even the Pope is guilty of that. The Catholic Roman Church is guilty of that. The Crusaders are guilty of that. The White Knight Templars are guilty of that. America or American Crusaders and Discoverers and all your history of Christopher Columbus and Alexander the Great are guilty of that. Tell the truth that Egypt is really Kemet Africa. The Garden of Eden is Africa. Where on earth can you get all the species of the Garden of Eden, all the exotic fruits, all the exotic trees, all the exotic plants? Can you, have you ever seen an elephant and a zebra running around America? No. Have you seen an elephant and zebra running around Europe? No. The only place that the Bible and biblical garden of Eden could ever be is Africa. And you know it. The Nile River, Africa. But you say it's Egypt. But what was Egypt before? Kemet. Where is Kemet? Africa. Who are the people of Kemet? Nubia, Kush, Africa. It's time for people to be truthful, be honest. Because you will be judged for your honesty and your lies and your evil and your wickedness and your racism. Regardless of who you are, where you come from. And there is racism among every single country, even in the Bible. And we're coming to that with different videos. We're coming to the knowledge, wisdom and understanding of the truth. And the truth is not religions and denominations. That's confusion. There's 33 million gods alone just in India. 
but there's only one creator, right? That's why we only have one universe, one creator, one kingdom. And the kingdom has nothing to do with all these religions and denominations. So T.D. Jakes needs to wake up. Creflo Dollar needs to wake up. Alf Lakul in South Africa needs to wake up. Because you're preaching a white Jesus because you are brainwashed. And that's coming from Cyber Rev. You are brainwashed. You do not know your history. You do not know the kings and queens and the gods and goddesses of the Garden of Eden. I dare you to research who are the gods and goddesses, kings and queens of the Garden of Eden. Who controls the planets of the cosmos and the universe? That's the real church you need to go to. And it's coming. It's coming. The truth is not something you can hide under a bush or under a tree or under the ground. It's the universe and the cosmos. That's why he said, have no other gods before me. Yet, when it's written in the Bible, they have no other gods before me. You know what they were talking about? They're talking about the gods and goddesses of Africa. So they're trying to spin like the narratives, like media spin it. You notice in the media, they always call them black. But they never call a white officer white, do they? But they call everybody, the person's black. If they're brown, they call them black. If they're light-skinned, they call them black. It's stigma, narratives. They're controlling the narratives. They're controlling how people feel about you when they look at you. And this is what causes the death of George Floyd and other people. That's why Zimmerman can get away with murder also. And many more, which I'm not going to discuss. But you get the point. If you're on YouTube, please share, like, subscribe. If you're on Twitter, share, like, comment. It's time for us to know the truth, for, for the truth, and only the truth will set us free. Thank you for listening. Side breath.